Hello everybody, how's it going? Um, I got some good news and bad news today. So, so many mixed emotions right now. So the good news is I got my driver's license finally in the mail. So now I can go out and get a library card and you know, get some other stuff done. Yeah, I'm, we're supposedly right now in a blizzard warning until 9 o'clock in the morning. And the temp's dropping. Yeah, magic works today. So. I'm a little frustrated because the one Realtor sent our questions off to the other realtor that's working with the owner of the house. Now, she told the realtor that they're not interested in renting or owning, you know, rent to own type, contract for deed type, whatever, because they want to just sell it. Now, it's also listed on a rent to own type site so that's i don't know it's kind of confusing and the one lady that metric works with was you know talking about uh, selling it so i don't know whatever um i'm just really frustrated about the whole thing so there's another guy that goes to our church so i've been talking with him um, dealing with our situation and things like that and so yeah and I called up a um the loan person and literally got hung up on because they're like well we can help you with credit and I'm like well the credit's not the issue because I have good credit it's um you know I was working for two years I did you know th that so it was two years eight months and then I got assaulted so I'm on medical leave she literally hung up on me at that point when I said I was on medical leave <laughs> so you know I don't know there's so many catch-22s no matter where we turn, there's always, oh, well, you qualify for this half, but you don't qualify for this half. Just, I don't know, it's frustrating. So, some of our videos that are coming up, um, there's going to be a lot of good adventures coming up. And, um, but this year is going to be kind of a serious, you know, bucker down, uh, trying to get into somewhere and, you know, get a wheelchair van and other important things first. Yeah, so I have a lot on my mind right now. Just my mind's going a thousand miles an hour. But at least I got my license in the mail today. So that's one last thing. Um, I have to worry about there and I can start moving forward with some of the other things that I have to do now since I finally got that. So yeah, and then Magic, he downloaded a whole bunch of games, so I'm going to be doing a lot of um, live streaming for games because he wants to add a couple more games but we ran out of room. On the PlayStation, so I have to complete these games so that he can erase them and then put the new ones on. Okay, yeah. I'm just staring out the window right now. So, I'm glad I figured out how to get those other videos up on the end of the the videos. Um, there's only a couple more that I have to do that too. 
so we are moving forward with our adventures and I can't wait to see some of the things that are in store for us. One of the adventure trips that I'm excited to be going on, but I want to wait for the weather to get nicer. Probably do it in the springtime. Um, I'm going to be doing a Minnesota Wizard of Oz adventure um, of different sites around Minnesota that are dealing with Minnesota. And then I'll be doing a South Dakota one sometime in the future. And I will be doing a Chicago one in the future. Um, the writer of Wizard of Oz was actually born in Chicago. So I thought that was really neat information when I learned that. And they lived for a little bit of the time in um, Bloomington, Minnesota. And along with Julie Garland lived in Minnesota. So there's, there's a lot of really awesome Minnesota, South Dakota, Chicago links to the Wizard of Oz and it's going to be so much fun and I hope you are able to join me on those adventures as well. So please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so much to those who have. I appreciate it a lot. It helps us and helps us grow. Um, so, bye for now. Have a very adventurous night and day. And if you are dealing with this blizzard, please, please, please be careful. Um, yeah, it's going to be done at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So... I'm supposed to be going to feed my starving children tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to go. And the temps for tomorrow night are supposed to be minus 13 for actual temp. So it's it's not going to be, oh, it's not going to be good. So keep warm, everybody, and be safe. Bye for now.